Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ankit and today I'm going to show you uh, how to create a dramatic picture. So this is before and uh, this is after. So okay, so uh, let's start and I'm gonna reset this picture. Click reset. Okay, so this is the picture uh, that I that have to start with. So. Uh, Okay, first of all, we will work uh, with the basic adjustments and then we will go down to the HSL split toning and this is all the layers. So this, I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the basic tabs. So we will start with the basic tab. So first of all, I'm increasing contrast and now I'm decreasing the highlights because I don't want highlights now this is the area which is which is in the dark exposure so we have to lighten this up and for this we can increase the shadows so you will see that we'll always start getting this look and now you can just decrease white area see this will affect the only the white area now you can decrease this little bl blacks to give a contrast now let's uh, decrease the clarity I just want a soft picture so you can increase if you want see you can increase if you want I'm just decreasing it a bit and then I'm increasing the vibrance because I like vibrance and increasing the saturation a bit so up to this point we have recovered a picture a bit so let's see this is before and this is after so already started getting this shadows and the highlights and we are seeing everything good so okay now let's uh, start with the tone curve this is the second part and uh, so what you can do is this is the shadow part and this is the highlight part so in the shadows part I'm just going to decrease it a little bit shadows just to get a contrast a picture you'll see that yeah just just that just a bit that's it okay so uh, just a bit you can just Okay, so now uh, I'm going to uh, this HSL saturation and the luminous tab so here first of all I'll start with the hue and then I'll go to the saturation and then I'll go to the luminous this is the most important part for the color grading so let's see how I do it so I'll start with the hue uh, first of all I, I always start with actually blue ones so I'll just decrease the blues yeah somewhat around here and just decrease the aqua to the green side so I like this look so you see this I'll just show you the before and after this is just before this filter and this is after this filter is just you change the green to to the steel color so now let's let's this let's decrease the green the yellow side and then increase the yellow to more orange side and this to the more red side so sorry so around 45 43 and now this will be uh, something like this so you will see around before and after for this one so you see this yellow has been changed to uh, orange so that's what I like so this is called deep orange look and uh, now let's go to the saturation part and what I'll do is I'll increase the saturation for the orange and increase this as well now increase it for the greens. So yeah, I like to decrease it for the greens. Yeah. And then uh, I'll decrease it for the aqua. And yeah. And decrease 
it for the blues. Just yeah. And then I'll increase a little bit red as well, of course. So yeah, some something around here. Okay. And then I'll go to the luminance tab and then I will just decrease the luminance for the blues so it will decrease the color for the blues and I will increase it for the greens a bit and that's it that's that's what I want so uh, you wanna see this before colors and after colors so this is the before and this is this is after so I like this one okay so now let's go to the split toning split toning and uh, let's say increase the saturation not that much just a bit and this is the highlight part and just for the hues i will set something around yeah this will do with the good Something around 25, fine, yeah. And then uh, I'll, I'll select the color for the shadows part. I'll keep it 30 and then I'll increase the saturation a bit. Not that much. Just a bit. Okay. So uh, now I'll go to the last part that I like a lot. Well, uh, I, like, I like to explain the details as well. So the details, uh, I'll just I always do 70 and 21 something or 20, and then luminance increase the luminance. So this will give a sharp, crisp effect. The picture and this is the lens curvish correction. Sorry. And. Uh, I won't bother about this one I won't bother about this one either so let's go to camera calibration now this is the important part here so I'll push these colors towards orange increase the saturation yeah not, not much sorry yeah something right here <laughs> And then I'll, I'll decrease these colors towards this side used so I'm changing the teal color and I'll decrease it a bit more so uh, so till now you can see before and after so I will sh press pipe and then this is before and this is this is after this is after okay so we have done a lot okay now let's go to these filters as I am seeing these these are the areas that are in the dark so it's like these filters so you can create this and now I will select this so I'll go like this a little bit here yeah Okay, now I will, what I will do is I'll, I'll increase the exposure here. Well, first of all, I'll select the inward mask. Sorry. Yeah. So we have selected this area. So let's increase the a bit and then decrease the highlights in this area and then increase this shadows a oh, little bit white maybe is it yeah yeah something like that. this is, this looks nice already yeah. okay so let's just do this zero now you will see this effect before and this is after us so like in this area now select the second area which is uh, so what I'll do is I'll select this area and 
first of all invert mask and then just decrease this a bit just a bit not much so you will see this before and after like this one so so guys this is a complete picture now you can always save this as a preset develop new preset here just do the check wall and do that uh, tutorial and just create this so this will here so this will create the and now you can of course reset this picture this will just click reset here and now you get back to the initial picture and you can just apply this tutorial tutorial P and this will directly apply all the settings so you can apply this setting to all the pictures you want now you can export this picture go to the export and then export and then you can select the folder yeah I selected the documents so just here quality is 100 just just export it and click export so I've already exported this picture for you guys I'll show you the picture so I've already exported this picture and yeah so this is the picture okay let's go back to the Lightroom so this is the tutorial for you guys thanks a lot if you like this tutorial please like comment and share and that will allow me to make more videos like this so thanks a lot bye bye